Now every now and then I come across the misfortune of situations like this where I have added an extra water pump um, to increase the water flow of this pond. This pond had basically no water flow except the filter which send and return from there. I then put a larger fountain pump in just to circulate the water which should have been a really good thing. Um, I did not think that the pond was that dirty but obviously it was but basically what happens is in all this sludge that's all over the bottom of the pond you can start forming what's called hydrogen sulfide in all the sludge and then well you build anoxic bacteria which charges hydrogen sulfide so then when I've turned this pump on I've literally um, potentially killed the fish so some of them seem to be holding up better than others they seem to actually be alive I've lost two little goldies that I know of so what I've had to do really fast is to get some tap water add some water ager in the tap water and get the water fish out of that water into new water as fast as possible um, I'll keep trying to aerate that water by doing this and then I'll completely change this water. I'll set it up again, I'll get the water right, I'll introduce the fish back in again, and I'll cross my fingers. Now the only thing that I could have done differently is if I did add some aquarium detox a month earlier, then that may have eased or fixed this situation. But because the pond is a formal pond, I didn't actually think there'd be anywhere near enough dirt for that to be a problem. But it actually was a problem. So then, I mean, you could put a pump in a pond 10 times and really not ever have this, but every now and then it does happen. So I'm in the process of draining the pond and I'll be crossing my fingers. It's like a version of old tank syndrome which we can call old pond syndrome the build up of anoxic bacteria even when you think it's not a problem <laughs> 